Please join me this morning in praying for those who are sick and homebound and all those listed in our parish prayer book and bulletin. Father of goodness and love, hear our prayers for the sick members of our community and for all who are in need. Amid mental and physical suffering, may they find consolation in your healing presence. Show your mercy as you close wounds, cure illnesses, make broken bodies whole, and free downcast spirits. May these special people find lasting health and deliverance, and so join us in thanking you for all your gifts. We ask this through the Lord Jesus, who healed all who believed. Amen. The entrance antiphon, let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice, turn to the Lord in his strength, constantly seek his face. Good morning, St. Mark's. Good morning. Today's Mass is up for the repose of soul, Laura Lynn Taylor, Dorothy McGenna. So let's begin our celebration. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Is this thing on? Yes, it is. You sure? Okay, because I'm a little deaf, so I can't really hear it. Let's take a moment out to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries by calling to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God, and you, my brothers and sisters, and sisters that I have greatly sinned. In my thoughts, in my words, and what I have done, and what I have failed to do. And I am fault, Through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, blessed Mary, ever virgin, all, all the angels, angels and saints, saints. and you, and you my, my brothers and sisters, to pray, to pray for me to the Lord, to the Lord our, our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity with the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I speak the truth in Christ. I do not lie. My conscience joins with the Holy Spirit in bearing me witness that I have great sorrow and constant anguish in my heart. For I c could wish that I myself were accused and cut off from Christ for the sake of my own people my kindred according to the flesh. They are children of Israel. Theirs the adoption, the glory, the covenants, the giving of the laws, the worship, and the promises. There's the patriarch, and from them, according to the flesh, is the Christ, who is over all. God blessed forever, amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Praise, Praise the Lord, Lord Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Glorify the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion, for he has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed your children within you. Praise, Praise the, the Lord, Lord, Jerusalem. Jerusalem. He has granted peace to your borders with the best of wheat he fills you. He sends forth his commands in the earth, swiftly runs his word. Praise, Praise the, the Lord, Lord Jerusalem. Jerusalem. He has proclaimed his word to Jacob, his statues and his ordinances to Israel. 
He has not done thus for any other nation. His ordinances he has not made known to them. Alleluia. Praise, Praise the, the Lord, Lord Jerusalem. Jerusalem. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. I read from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. On a Sabbath, Jesus went to dine at the home of one of the leading Pharisees, and the people there were observing him carefully. In front of him, there was a man suffering from dropsy. Jesus spoke to the scholars of the law and the Pharisees in reply, asking, is it lawful to cure on the Sabbath or not? But they kept silence. So he took the man, and after he had healed him, dismissed him. Then he said to them, Who among you, if your son or ox falls into a cistern, would not immediately pull him out on the Sabbath day? But they were unable to answer his question. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I'll stay right here because it's safer. You know, we, uh, we as human beings are blessed by God. He, he gave us this great sense of self-preservation. You know, it's one of those things that keeps us alive, you know, because, you know, we should love ourselves and make sure we protect ourselves. The problem with that self-preservation, it can easily turn that I need to self-preserve myself, but uh, not you. You know, I'm doing just fine as long as, you know, you all behave, which is why we made laws, to sit back and keep us in order. And I'm happy to have laws out there in the world, you know, that you people need to follow. But, you know, if they're inconvenient to me, then, you know, I'd, please, that's just, i got to take care of me. You know, that's what it comes down to. I become a little more, instead of self-preserving, I become a little self-centered. That, you know, it's all about me. And as long as my life's going great, life is good. And as long as you people stay out of my way and do what I tell you to do, life is good. But it doesn't seem to work that way. You know, I don't know if you know this or not, we actually post a speed limit on the roads for ourselves, you know, to keep us safe. I drove here this morning. There was no one following those laws. They were going very quickly down the roads. Very dangerous, weaving out of traffic. I don't know what jobs they're going to that they love so much they have to kill everybody to get there, but I'm sure they're wonderful jobs because the rest of us are like, eh, just trying to get there. We put the laws out to protect other people. This is what Jesus does today. Nothing wrong with laws, nothing wrong with rules, but they're for other people, not for me. You know, Jesus is willing to break the law to help one person out. St. Paul this morning goes even one step farther. He says, let me go back and read it again, in case you weren't paying attention. I wish I could, I could wish that I myself were accursed and cut off from Christ for the sake of my own people. That's what it's all about. Our lives as Christians is for other people, not for me. St. Paul was willing to damn himself to hell to save others. That's not bad, you know. Following the speed limit to sit back and protect people's life, I can probably do that some days. I can tuck my direction on every now and then. <sighs> if it helps save somebody's life, I guess I can do that. I curse myself to hell. Yeah, that's a little bit, I mean, I gotta preserve this guy. But that's what we're called to do. The only way to save ourselves is by trying to save others. That's what our Lord Jesus did. He was willing to sacrifice himself to save others. And that's the same rule that you and I have to follow also. That's what we're called to do too. Can we do it perfectly? No, not probably not. But can we keep trying, working toward that? Yeah, we can. So today, when you leave, if you're going to take a right, let the person behind you know that's where you're going. If you're taking a left, let them know where you're going. Drive safely. Save a life or two. It might be yours. It might be mine. So please do it. Let's stand now and bring our prayers and petitions to our Father. With confidence in the Lord, let us pray for the needs of our church, the world, and this community. For Pope Francis and all our bishops, may the Lord help them shepherd his flock with wisdom, courage, and humility. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. For those who govern nations, may the Holy Spirit fill hearts and minds with a thirst for righteousness and justice and mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those among us facing financial or physical hardship, may the Lord's providence and gracious mercy bring us relief. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all families in this faith community, may Christ continue to build them up in the dwelling place of his love and forgiveness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the faithful and departed, may the Lord have mercy on them and receive them into the eternal kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all our prayers and petitions, which we hold in the silence of our own hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, hear our humble prayers and answer them in accordance to your providence. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Bless you, Lord God of all creation. For your goodness, receive this bread we offer you through the earth and work of human hands, and to become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Bless you, Lord God of all creation. For your goodness, receive this wine we offer you through the vine and work of human hands, and to become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, Lord may the Lord accept the sacrifice hands. at your hands. Praise and glory for the of his praise name. and glory of his name, for our good, for our good, good and the good of all, of all his church. holy church. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father Most Holy, for your beloved Son, Jesus Christ. Your word that you made all things, you sent us our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion. So to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of, God of hosts, hosts, heaven and earth, and earth are, are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in, in the highest. highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes, who comes in, the name, in the, the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in, in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and willing into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks. He broke it, gave the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which should be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of new internal covenant, which he poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread, bread and, and drink, drink this, this cup, cup, we, we proclaim, proclaim your death, O Lord, Lord, until, until you, you come, come again. again. There, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you life, the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks, you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister. Humbly, we pray that by taking in the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co of eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in unity with the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And our Savior is commanded upon by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed, hallowed be, thy, be thy, name. thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will, thy will be, done. be done, on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day, day our daily bread, bread. and, and forgive us our trespasses. Us our as we, as forgive, we those forgive those who trespass, who trespass against, against, against us, and lead, and lead us, us not, not into, into temptation, temptation but, deliver but deliver us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Grace you grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we wait the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, With the kingdom, the, power, the, power, the, glory, and the yours, glory are yours, now, now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church. And grace your grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will. We'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with, and with your spirit. spirit. Thank you. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins of the world, have, have mercy, mercy on us. us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have, have mercy, mercy on us. us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. My friends, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my, and my soul, soul shall be healed. Communion Antiphon. We will ring out our joy at your saving help and exalt in the name of our God. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs we may one day possess in truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I'm asking them to let us go in peace and love to serve our Lord and one another. Thanks be to God. And for those who are joining me for the chaplet of the Divine Mercy, we begin in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You expire, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the world, a font of life, unfathomable divine mercy. Envelop the whole world and empty yourself out for us. O blood and water, blood and which, water gushed forth which gushed from the forth from the heart of Jesus, of Jesus as a font, a font of, mercy of mercy for us, for us. I, I trust, trust in you. you. O blood, blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of, heart of Jesus, as a fount, as a fount of, mercy of mercy for us, I trust, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth, forth from the heart of Jesus, heart of Jesus as a fount of, a mercy, fount of for mercy for us, I trust, I trust in, in you. you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. Uh, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the communion of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood and soul and divinity of your delivery beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his so sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, Mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Eternal Father. I offer you the body and blood and soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, for the sake of his sorrowful passion. 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 Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, the soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. For, our sins and those of the world. for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, 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 for the sake of his sorrowful passion. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. 
for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, the soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. 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 Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, the soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. 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 Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and the whole world. Eternal God, in whose mercy is endless, in the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we may not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as a memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us in the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and with the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. 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 Lord Mary, your, your praises we sing. sing. You reign now in splendor. With Jesus.